guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm super excited about this. I am redoing and updating one of the most popular videos that I've ever done, which was how to decorate a Candyland Christmas tree. That was one of the first YouTube videos I ever created that I was super passionate about. And of course it took off because no one in their right mind decorates a tree like a crazy person. So I wanted to share the like the whimsical feels of it, how I made it look like a freaking tree out of Whoville, how it's really not as crazy as you think it is. I'm gonna take you guys through the ornaments that are in there, what I've added since that last video. I will leave that video link down below though if you do wanna see it. And just all the accessories, what's new in it, where I got everything, how you can do one yourself, how your little ones can help you and it's not that crazy. And just all of the things. So if you guys want to talk decorations, by the way, can we talk about my hair clips? They're from Michaels. So we're gonna talk about decorations. Most of it's from Michaels. A lot of it's from Home Depot. Rona is kind of like Home Depot. If you can hear little, little paws scratching, it's Carl. All right, you guys, so let's, let's decorate this tree together. I'm gonna take you guys through me setting up the tree, a time-lapse of it, all of the decorations. I'm gonna run through as many things as possible and I will link as many things as I can down below. I'm gonna let my dog outside and jump into the video. Okay, so obviously the first step will be setting up the tree. So this tree was actually a gift from Andre's parents. It's in three parts and each of the lights kind of plug into each other. It's a pre-lit tree. It's pretty awesome. It's just really, really heavy. And then from there, I'll usually lay out all of the decorations that are gonna go in the tree. This year we had a new tree topper, so super excited about that. And then I'll usually start with the tree skirt. So I flatten it all out. A smart person would have installed it over the base before the tree went in but it works the same way. So I actually have like this candy cane striped pinwheel type of tree skirt. It's super cute. I got it a couple of years ago at Michael's and it just works really, really well. So we love it. And it kind of goes really well with like the Candyland theme of the tree. And one of the biggest tips I can give you if you don't have a super full tree, now this tree is really full and it has great lights in it, but you can still see how it could be fuller, right? So this mesh ribbon is a great thing that you can get you can buy this at michael's you can really get it anywhere so mine is like a glittery red mesh ribbon and i cut it halfway down the width so it's a little bit less thick you could leave full width if you want and i just push it in and out and kind of undulate it down the tree and then i cover that mesh with the same candy cane ribbon that i used on the other tree i love that ribbon it's at michael's and it has like an iridescent white in it and then one of the secrets to this tree is the oversized Christmas balls. Now, I hadn't seen this style of Christmas ball in years until this year. Michael's has some. And then I put on the Christmas topper, which was kind of a whole situation itself because this is a new item, so I wasn't really sure how I was gonna incorporate it. And I have to tell you guys, I didn't love the blue, like the cool white lights in it, so I just left the lights off, but you'll see the finished product, it worked out. And then I have these cute Mickey peppermint lights that I had gotten in the parks actually, and I brought them home with me. And I don't know if they still sell them, but I just thought they were super cute. You might be able to find them on like Amazon or even Poshmark or something like that, but they definitely fit really, really well with the theme. The theme is like Candyland, Disney, candy chaos of Christmas. So the next tip for the tree topper, this is usually what I do. I do this on a couple trees. You can get these branches at Walmart and the, see how long the cord is. It plugs in, but I'll show you the tip that I have so that everything is attached. And that's what I use as a tree topper. So I had my Christmas parade candle going from Magic Candle Co. Those are Disney themed candles, by the way, in case you didn't know that. So like I said, I lay out all of the ornaments. I usually will use a ton of extra large ornaments, like the large candies and then sticks. So. My sticks are from, you know, the floral department in Michaels, from Home Depot and different floral stores. These little sticks I got at our local grocery store in a floral arrangement and I use them all over the tree. And I really think that the sticks are like the best part of the tree and the most simple part too. I don't think that the secret to a good tree is ornaments. I think it's really the parts that stick out, especially if you're going for that whimsical like Whoville type of look, a little bit of organized chaos. The other thing I love is those curly cues. And I have, like I said, super oversized ornaments like these huge lollipops that work really really well and the oversized candy canes too and then of course i have a couple of special disney ornaments they're just really really fragile and i keep breaking some of them i got this gingerbread ornament that i absolutely love and i have another one coming in from disneyland paris which i'm really excited about and definitely totally goes with the theme so this is what i usually will use and i just kind of upped my game this year i always have 
this really, really awesome power cord, power extension, and plug system going in. So I just shared, I want to share a little bit of my, my, my Michael slash Amazon haul with you guys. So I got these Sensicles and I got a new scent this year. So the, the fur one is like the basic one that I've always had, but this Christmas tree smell, Andre wasn't sure about it in the store, but I said, let's give it a chance. And it was phenomenal. So you just kind of, if you've never seen it, you just kind of stick the sticks in the tree. These smart plugs are Amazon Alexa plugs apparently they'll work with your Alexa. So if you have the, I think it's the dot or any of them, you can link it to that plug. So you could say like, turn on my Christmas lights. <laughs> Let's see if that actually works, but I'm gonna work on that. These though are amazing. I've had these every other year. I just wanted to get a couple more. So it comes with two remotes and I think six plugs. So you can control exactly what's turning on. It's the most useful thing, honestly. That way you can turn everything on in one shot. And then this, I think it's like a grounded is how you'd say it, like a non-charged, oh, I don't know what to say. Like how, like it's a safer power bar. And then these are just basic power bars from Amazon Basics, but this Belkin power bar is like the bee's knees. Like it won't, it, it basically won't blow the circuit. <laughs> so I love it. And see how I put in that remoted plug before you plug it in? That's how you can control everything. It's super simple. You literally just press number one on the number one plug and it'll work. So you can see me kind of setting up all my cords here. I'm plugging in that tree topper and I'm putting that just behind the tree topper that I got from Disney. So that Disney store Mickey and Minnie tree topper, I kept the lights off on it and then I lit the back of it with those warm white branches, which I thought just looked super cute. You could totally turn it on if you wanted to. I just felt like it didn't match lights in my tree. And that's usually how I do the tree toppers, a bunch of branches sticking out and the light, the lit branches and then I, tried my best to create this peppermint light string as separated out as I could, as spread out as I could throughout the tree so that it wasn't all in one spot. And then I'll usually get a bunch of little boxes from Home Goods and Marshalls and I will put them all around the tree. There's no gifts in them yet, but there definitely will be. And that Christmas ornament ball pillow is from Michael's from last year. That was super cute. And this Mickey tree topper is on Amazon. I'll link it for you guys. I'll link everything that I'm talking about as I usually do down below. The elf slippers, so adorable. And yes, I wear them and they jingle like crazy. So you can kind of see how I have the extra large candy canes. Those are on a metal stick below that's like into the tree. That's from the floral department at Michael's. Those extra large candy ornaments are from Home Depot. The All the sticks and all of the little curly cues, Michael's, the elf feet are from Michael's. By the way, if you haven't seen the decorate with me for my elf tree, a lot of the things are kind of similar because I did like a candy cane, Candyland themed elf tree. Same kind of vibes, just there's elves popping out of the entire tree. And then I definitely have an assortment of Disney ornaments that I've either gotten in the park or online. Many of the curly cues as well, like the bigger ornaments are all from either floral arrangements or floral departments. So even at your grocery store, if you see a floral arrangement with some wooden curly cues in it, it might be worth it to pick it up and just keep the wooden curly cues in it, or even just going on Amazon and searching your floral department. So a lot of, I think the best parts of this tree are from floral departments. And I love the new pom-poms that I got this year at Michael's. The, they're on sticks, they're super cute. They're on. They're in my elf tree as well. They're just, they just match with the theme really, really well. And then another tip to just kind of make it look more whimsical, so I'd notice this, instead of hanging it as an ornament, if you have a candy cane or whatever you have, kind of sticking it into the tree as though it's like coming out, it'll always look better. So you don't have to use it in the way that it was intended. You can kind of just stick it on an angle poking out of the tree and it'll not only add more depth to the tree, it'll add more width. Like it'll make your tree look way bigger than it is. So if you have the room for it, do it. So this is another Disney ornament I got this year. So I got the candy cane Mickey cookie. I got the sugar cookie and then I got the gingerbread cookie. And I know the gingerbread cookie sold out right now. Apparently people really like the gingerbread Mickey this year. That gingerbread pillow is still sold out. And you can see I have a couple like little cupcakes and other little Mickey ornaments. I got an Olaf. So he's broken at the back, but you can't really tell. It's just, they're so fragile, some of those ornaments. And it's just really hard to 
store them in the right way and keep an eye on them. So that's pretty much the entire tree. We, oh my gosh, you guys, I love the Christmas Chronicles. If you have not yet seen my 31 day movie list yet, there's way more than 31 movies on that list. But if you didn't see that yet, I did a Christmas bucket list video. I'll link it down below for you guys. And it included all my favorite videos. So I wanted to include just a couple other pieces of decoration. Obviously I'm gonna keep decorating with you guys, but I just wanted to give you a little glimpse into what's to come. So I set up my village. I have new pieces coming because a couple of these pieces were actually burnt out whenever I put them up and I took them out of the box, which was super disappointing, Lee Max, but it's okay. I have another couple of pieces coming, so I'm excited. And then I set up the snow all around the village. It's quite a big job to do this, but I do enjoy it. Like once it's all on and all lit up, it's so cute and so spectacular and very whimsical. So I got a couple Whoville trees in there. There's a mixture of Disney and Lee Max and a couple, I guess a little bit of Grinch in there too. It's very cute. And a lot of it is candy themed. I've got the popcorn tower and the candy sweet shop and the Mickey ear factory, which I thought was the most adorable thing ever. And like the North Pole tower and everything. I just, I can't get enough of it. I thought that that teacup thing was very Disney-esque also. So all these still need to be lit up. So definitely stay tuned for future videos. Thank you so much for watching you guys. I really, really enjoyed this. All right, you guys, I hope that you enjoyed this decorate how-to Candyland Christmas tree tutorial-esque type of video. Let's be real. I just really wanted to do the show and tell game. I love sharing all the things with you guys. You guys are so fun. So if you enjoyed this, give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you're following on Instagram if you haven't already. I have two pages, Angie Belmar and Angie Belmar Vlogs. If you're a Disney fan, I also have a Disney page called Disney Food Love. And if you liked the little, the little demon, the little demon dog named Carl, he has his own Instagram as well. So make sure that you're following on there. My vlog page, I share all the behind the scenes. And on Like to Know It, which is like my little blog platform where I link everything. So I always leave that down below so you guys can go there, click on the thumbnail of the YouTube video or my latest Instagram post and everything will be linked for you guys. Give us a thumbs up if you haven't already. Make sure that you're subscribed, hit that bell for notifications and I will see you guys next time. Bye dudes.